What's going on, everyone? And welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. This film is directed by Michael Chavez. Now, before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button, as well as commenting below on the video that you watch, including this one. And so here we are, we're on the third mainline Conjuring film. We, of course, we've had many, many spinoffs at this point, which includes stuff like Annabelle, The Nun, La Llorona. At this point, it's a billion dollar franchise. It's made, made lots and lots of money. It scared lots and lots of people. Not necessarily in the good ways. Um, some of these movies are pretty terrible. Uh, but for the most part, the mainline films that have been, the, at least the first two films that were directed by James Wan, have been pretty successful and pretty uh, intense for their own reasons right and so with that said here we are on the third film um if you want to know the plot basically we have the warrens which are patrick wilson and of course vera formiga very famous individuals who basically were almost like ghost stoppers they were you know basically documenting possessions and trying to stop possessions and so on and so forth and here we have another possession story where a family is dealing with the possessions similar to like the exorcist in a lot of ways and one of the one of the kids gets possessed and then another kid gets possessed and he ends up murdering someone and he's being tried and convicted for manslaughter murder and all that stuff but because this is a conjuring movie there is more to it there is more possession stuff this is you know the warren is trying to figure out what who is possessing them what is the possession and how are they going to solve the possession and trying to get rid of it and that's pretty much your story that's it's pretty much like the other two films there's a setup with possession there's a kind of wraparound story of what's going on and there's the warrants trying to figure out and fix the problem but with that said i thought the movie was fine i thought it was entertaining for most parts um it has some you know once again patrick wilson and vera formiga are exactly what i expected you know very chemistry involved and they are very good to watch and fun and entertaining uh this movie has some humor in it it has some suspenseful moments it has some you know jump scares which i can't remember if the other films had it. i think the first conjuring did you know with the clapping and stuff like that but it's very much a conjuring film so when when you kind of start thinking about it where does the movie lie and what are its main problems and i guess my main problem with this film is just the direction of the film this really feels like somebody tried to do james wan but couldn't do james wan and the, what makes it so funny is the person who directed this directed la llorona the curse of the la llorona which was a offshoot of the conjuring franchise yeah it just it, you can really tell it's not a james wan movie you could tell that he didn't direct it or wrote it wrote it i think he uh was the story by credit or something like that and it truly suffers it really does the shots are not really that interesting to look at the you know the set pieces are fine or entertaining but they feel haphazardly done and they don't feel wholly contained and wholly uh personable there's people that show up in this movie that just feel out of place and you kind of see things coming from a mile away and when you can get past the idea that these movies are basically popcorn horror films uh that's fine but you gotta have some at least commitment some structure to your story and your your direction and michael chavez just doesn't have that here and it doesn't make him a bad director in any right because he's just you know he's doing what he's supposed to do but I just think when you ha when you compare this to the other two Conjuring films, this feels like The Godfather Part 3, which, you know, these aren't Godfather movies, they never will be. But you also can put, like, you know, Back to Future Part 3 in the same genre, or, you know, for if you wanted to Return of the Jedi or something like that, it's just... It's a movie that, though it has its moments and though it has its energy, really feels like it's not a step forward, but feels like a step back. And that's when you see, like, certain plot lines play out and certain ideas play out and the eventual conclusion and what is the possession and, you know, what are the Warrens and, you know, who are they in this, you know, in this universe, you know, as it continues. And it just feels like almost sometimes like the same stuff being repeated. And that's just another problem with the film. And like I said, it's not an ugly film to look at it any respect or manner it's just there's something truly special about what james wan did and how he directs his films and then you get a uh, kind of a, a second tier director and you see just the just the pieces not being put in place and not being they don't feel fitted and stuff like that and it just overall to me personally it wasn't a movie i really enjoyed that much but i still was entertained by which is 
perfectly all right. It's a movie that you can go in, get a little scared, and, you know, sit next to your significant other and have them hold you by your side. And overall, it's a movie that has potential, but it has potential for so much more. And um, how you view the Warrens and their kind of ideology and whether this stuff is true is a different story. Because at this point, you're just there for the ride. You're along for it. So overall, I think you'll still kind of enjoy it. But I don't expect a lot of people to enjoy it as much as they did the last couple films. So uh, with that said, that is my take on The Conjuring. The Devil Made Me Do It. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think of The Conjuring franchise. What's your favorite Conjuring movie? Uh, if you like one of the offshoot films, perfectly all right. But otherwise, thank you so much. Uh, once again, I, I apologize for the quality of the video. My battery is having a problem with my other camera. So if you like what you see on the channel, hit the subscribe button to join movie emporium hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next if you like this video awesome hit that like button and as always we'll see you guys on the next video peace out